Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's just Professor Williams again with more amazing normal distribution uh, problems. In this case, we're going to show I'm going to show you how to determine the whole. In other words, how many people, things, widgets, cars, dogs exist under the normal distribution curve in a given problem. So hang on and let's grab some stuff. For those of you who may not have watched the previous however many videos, remember that 50% of the data in a normal distribution falls above the mean, 50 cent, 50 cent, 50% 50 falls below the mean. So what we have to totally focus on in this kind of problem is the fact that the total area under the curve is equal to 1. So here we are back with Wanda. And what we know is that she's still making high-quality dog widgets. But a recent salary survey indicated that 93.7% of the employees earned less than $1,153 per week. We know that the standard deviation of the employees' salaries is $100, and we also know the salaries are normally distributed. If Wanda knows that 125 people earn more then 153, what we don't know is how to type, per week, how many people work for Wanda. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take really two steps. I'm going to convert the area under the curve from a percentage, which I can get using my z-score and my normal distribution table, I'm then going to apply this amazing rule of normal distribution that says the area under the curve is equal to 1. And then I'm going to do some fairly fundamental um, algebra in terms of how we can determine the part from the whole. And hopefully at the end you're going to go, wow, that was amazing. All right, so here we are with our problem set up graphically. What the problem told us was that 93.7% of the employees made less than $1,153 a week. We were given the standard deviation, we were given the mean, and we were told that 125 people make more than that $1,153. So what I need to do is I need to isolate or determine the percentage of data that exists in the tail of the curve. Well, this one's pretty easy because I know that the entire curve equals 1. And so if 93.7 falls between here and the end, then I know that 1 minus 0.937 zero is going to give me point oops, zero six three zero left in this tail. So now what I know is this. I know that a hundred and twenty five people are the same thing as point zero six three zero of all of the employees. Well, if I know that 6.30% equals 125, then can I simply say that 125 is equal to 0 0.0630 of some unknown value of x and if I take and divide that out I end up with 125 divided by 0 0.0630 equals some unknown value and when I end up doing that what I know is that x is going to equal 1984 4.12 and since we can't have 0.12 of a person what we're going to do is we're going to round up and say 1985 people work at Wanda's 
because what we do know, what we do know is that 1985 times point zero. What did I say it was? 630? Zero? Zero, 0630 zero is going to equal, drum roll please, 125.055, which for approximating normal distribution and using this information, that's about as close as we are going to get. Now, wasn't that amazing?